Hey guys, now for question 9. Alright, so it says the figure represents an empty cube with a circular opening at the top. The diameter of the opening is half the length of the diagonal AB. So the diagonal of the opening is half the length of the diagonal AB. The outer surface of the area of the cube in centimeters is how much? So what are they asking us to find? They're asking us to find the outer area, surface area of the cube. So what is that exactly? Let me show you. It will be this entire piece over here. It will be now all on the outside, right? So this entire piece over here, uh, that side over there, and the back part over there as well. Okay, so everything, all the sides on the outside except the top circle. All right, this kind of looks like a tissue box actually. Um, so they want to know the surface area of the cube in centimeters. And all they've given us is that the one side is a centimeters long. So in a square, because this is now a cube, so it consists of lots of squares. Every square is going to be a cent, every side is going to be a centimeters long. Other piece of information, the diameter of the opening, so the diameter of the opening, so this is a circle, let's say that is the middle, if I draw a line through there, it's the diameter. The diameter of the opening is half of the length of the diagonal AB, so this diagonal AB. Um, and then the diagonal of the circle, which I'm making in a bolder line, that is going to be half of AB in length. Okay, so where do we start? All of these answers have 6A squared in them. Uh, just to quickly tell you why it, that is so, it, um, how many sides does a square have? Does a cube have? It's got six, almost like a dice. Uh, six sides. And um, the area of each side is going to be a centimeters times a centimeters, which is a squared centimeters, right? But there's six of those sides, so we start off with six a squared. But we've got a minus something to get um, the outer surface area of the cube without this opening. So therefore we are minusing whatever this area of this circle on top is. All right, so let's begin. The most important part here is finding out what the actual surface area of the circle is. Right, so if you have a look at this triangle over here, A, B, whoops, and then onto that corner, we've got, we know that that's A centimeters, the other side is A centimeters. So can we find out what A, B is, the side A, B? What else do we know about a square? All the sides, all the angles, excuse me, are 90 degrees. So in this corner over here, it's going to be 90 degrees. So how do we calculate what AB is? In a right angle triangle, what happens? The hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two sides squared. So it's equal to a squared plus 
a squid. Okay? So a b squared is equal to, and there's an invisible one, invisible one there, it's equal to 2a squared. So we don't want to know a b squared, we want to just know what a b is. So what do I have to do? Square root both sides. Therefore, a b is equal to, I don't, I'm not allowed to use a calculator, so it's just going to be, I know that's going to be a square root 2. If I square root a squared, I'm just going to be left with a. So a, b is equal to the square root of 2, a. The square root of 2, a, is the length of a, b. Um, how is this going to help me? Well, um, we know that the square root of 2, a, is the length of a, b. We want to know the diameter. of the circle. Do we really need to know the diameter or can we go one step further? We're trying to find the surface area of the circle, right? Because we want to minus the circle away from this entire cube to get the surface area of the cube without the uh, with this cut out circle. So, so what is the surface area of or what is an area what is the area of a circle rather area of a circle is pi r squared so we actually need to know r the diameter here would be the square root of 2a divided by 2 because ab is the length and then the diameter, they said, is half the length of diagonal AB. The diameter of the opening is half the length of AB. Do we want to know the diameter? No, we want to know the radius. If we want to know radius, let's do this on the side rather, the radius is going to be the square root of 2A, which is that length of AB, divided by, is it going to be divided by 2? No. It's going to be divided by 4. Why? Because from there, from, let's use another color. So, this diameter is half of A b okay so a b is root 2 a the diameter is half of it but we're not looking for the diameter we're looking for the radius which is from here to here so if i redraw this if that was a b And you've got a circle there. Uh, that is your diameter. They said that the, di the diameter is half of AB. Okay, that's for the diameter. But we're not looking for diameter because for this equation, for this formula, we need the radius. So if the diameter is half of AB, then the radius must be a quarter of AB. So the radius must be a quarter of AB. So a quarter of AB will be written like this. A quarter of root 2 A is the same as saying root 2 A divided by 4. Okay. Right, that was just a side note there. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. So, right, let's go for it. We've got R. We now have, we know the formula is pi R squared. 
So pi radius to uh, root to a over 4. That's the whole radius there. And you're going to square it. Are we done yet? No. It's pi. And then what is root 2 squared? It is just 2. And then because it's root 2 times root 2. Okay. And then the uh, square root sign falls away. A squared there on top. And 4 squared is 16. So the area of the circle is pi 2a squared over 16. But can we simplify this further? Yes, we can. Pi, what is what um, 2 goes into itself once and into 16 8 times. So it's pi a squared over 8. So what's the final answer then? Well... 6a squared, because of 6 of those sides, but I want to take away that circle piece. So it's pi a squared over 8, and do we have an answer that looks like that? Answer is C. There we go. A little bit of a long one, but I hope you understand it.